Telecom offers an application programming interface, hereinafter referred to as API, which allows you to implement the most important functions of the customer portal into your own software environment, enabling you to manage, control and monitor your Business Smart Connect SIM cards from an external system. In this tutorial, you will learn how to get started with the Business Smart Connect REST API and get an overview of the most common API requests. All functions of the Business Smart Connect API can be visualized and easily tested under the following address. To get the Business Smart Connect API started, you first have to authenticate yourself. Therefore, click on the Authorize button and enter your credentials. As an owner, these are typically the same as the ones for the Business Smart Connect portal, email address and password. As an API user, the credentials are the client ID with the account number as a prefix and the related client secret. Now that you're logged in, you can try the different requests that the API offers. These are divided into three categories, namely order control, product information and SIM card management. Take a look around and try out the different functions. By clicking on a specific request, for example, get orders, you get a detailed description of how to use this request. Choose Try it out to unfold an overview of the specific instructions and parameters. After entering the desired parameters, in this case, for example, sort sequence, you can start a test run by clicking on the button Execute. The response code indicates whether the test was successful or not. If you want to use the Business Smart Connect REST API via an external system, upright authentication is required. Therefore, send your credentials Base64 encoded to the authentication server. After sending the authentication request, you get a response including a UUID access token for authentication. Use this UUID to authenticate the REST requests. Please note, the UUID for authentication has a validity period of 240 minutes. If the 240 minutes have expired, the authentication process needs to be repeated. Telecom also offers a comfortable overview of all API requests in an API doc, which you can access with the following link at the top of the page. Please note that this page might not be fully functional with every browser. Try preferred Firefox 63.0 or higher.